This is Equatoria Guinea, including this island here and some other um, small island. So they have the capital city just on this island somewhere around there. And why is it that the capital city is located on the highland when they have this mainland here as well? And there's a little bit of history because this is quite a big distance in terms of from here to there where the capital city is located so there's a bit of history to that and this is what i want to quickly discuss in this video first of all it was the portuguese who came to this island and later on there was a treaty between the portuguese and the spanish and then the spanish were in control there was a time as well when the british was in control but it was the spanish who um, later on extend their you know the territory of that area to include this place here and then they have this land here and one of the reasons why they have um, this land here is because they literally we go to the mainland and this during the colonial time when during the period of slavery so they would go to the mainland to go and get uh, people to come and walk on this particular island um, right here as well it was a good location for the imperialists during the slave trade it was almost like a slave post whereby you know they bring um, people that they capture and they um, they have a stop in there on the island and they can then transfer them into the americas and they also use the place um, as a place whereby they um, grow a lot of agricultural product and one of the most popular one was cocoa um, so there was even actually the history of uh, cocoa uh, somebody from that particular island who was working there who took uh, cocoa from there into uh, to ghana and that was the uh, first uh, time they had uh, cocoa seed in in ghana and then they would bring people from the all the way from the present day nigeria the present day cameroon uh, for people to come and work on this island so later on the spanish they extend their territory into the um, mainland and then they had uh, this uh, area here on the mainland you will see the place whereby they will bring people from the mainland to come and walk on um, that island this means during that period the highland was a place where the spanish they were having their administration so almost like their seat of government during that period for that particular area and basically that was the most developed place during that period because the mainland wasn't as developed as that place because that was where um, they were running their affairs most of the West Africa area at the time was called Guinea and after the slave trade abolition and also the Berlin conference where the imperialists share Africa among themselves and that particular time uh, Equatorial Guinea um, it was uh, called Spanish Guinea and some other area of Africa um, you know uh, the Portuguese Guinea and also the French Guinea so this particular one was called uh, Spanish Guinea even though the Spanish had extended their control to a small land even on the mainland because that island was the, the most developed area during that period because it was almost like the seat of power so that continued to be um uh, to, to be the uh, the capital even after um you know independence a new capital has been suggested on the mainland 